The Growing Rock, a Southwest Native American tale, adapted by Sandra Robbins and Miss Kay, illustrated by Iku Oseki. It happened on a bright September morning. Measuring Worm, who was very old, was cleaning out his teepee. He was a medicine man with the wisdom of many years. Crow, who was very young, was still asleep in a dark, warm jug near the sunning rock. Mama Blue Feather, who was very proud of her new babies, was teaching them to fly. She took them to the top of the sunning rock to practice flapping their wings. Try, my pretty babies, try. Try to fly up to the sky, sang Mama Blue Feather. And the baby blue feathers tried. They flipped. They flapped. And they flopped. But they were too young to fly upright. Fancy feathers, beautiful babies. Go to sleep on the sunning rock, said Mama Blue Feather as she flew away to get food. Mama Blue Feather's singing woke up Crow. Crow ruffled his feathers and frowned. He peeked out of the jug to take a closer look at those sleeping babies. Fancy feathers, beautiful babies. <laughs> they can't even fly yet, cawed Crow. He had just passed his six-month birthday, and no one had ever called him beautiful. The crow said, I know what I'll do. I'll chant to the growing spirit in that rock. So he began to chant. Ka! Ka! Make that rock grow up! The rock began to rumble. The growing spirit was listening. So the crow chanted again. Ka! Ka! Make that rock grow up! The rock began to grow. The crow didn't know that he was so powerful. So he chanted one last time. Ka! Ka! Make that rock grow up! And that rock began to grow. It grew and grew, and grew, and grew. It grew all the way above the clouds. All the rumbling from the growing rock woke the babies up, and when they noticed they couldn't see the ground anymore, they got very scared, and they cried out, Mama! 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 Meanwhile, the crow was getting very nervous that the rock was growing too high, so he tried to make the rock stop. But the rock did not stop. The crow looked around for Mama Blue Feather. Uh oh, uh oh, gotta go. And the crow dove back into his jug. Meanwhile, Mama Blue Feather had come back from getting food, but instead of seeing her babies on the sunning rock, she just saw the rock growing high into the sky. She tried to fly as fast as she could to the top of the rock. She flapped harder and harder and cried out, My babies! My beautiful babies! But no matter how high she flew, she could not reach the top of the growing rock. So she called out to her friends, Please help me save my babies! Her friends came to see what was the matter. What's wrong? asked the rabbit. Where did that rock come from? asked Mountain Lion. Look! That rock is growing, said Buzzard. Yes, it is growing and my baby blue feathers are on top. I cannot reach them, cried Mama Blue Feather. I will help you save your babies, said Rabbit. Then Rabbit hopped up the growing rock, chanting, I will hop to the top, see this rabbit hopping. I won't stop till the top. See this rabbit hopping. And he hopped 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 and he hopped. hopped. But no matter how hard Rabbit tried, he could not even see the top of the growing rock. I must stop. There's no top. I must stop my hopping. Rabbit said sadly as he hopped down the growing rock, Oh, Mama Blue Feather, I cannot save your babies. Then... 
The mountain lion said, I will save your babies. He took a great leap and clung to the side of the mountain with his claws. And as he climbed, he sang, I am a mountain lion strong. It won't take me very long. Up, up, I will climb to bring those babies back. And he climbed, 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 but suddenly Mountain Lion began to slide backwards. Oh, watch out! Down below, watch out! I cannot go! The rock's too smooth! I cannot reach the top! (laughs) When he reached the bottom, he said to Mama Bluefeather, I'm sorry, I cannot save your babies. Mountain Lion panted as he landed at the bottom of the growing rock. Don't worry, Mama Blue Feather, called the buzzard. I am chief of the high-flying feathers. I am called friend of the wind. I will save your babies. And the whole valley could hear buzzard singing. I am a buzzard flying high. I am a buzzard flying low. Up, up. I will try to bring those babies back. Buzzard flew higher and higher and higher, but Buzzard could not reach the baby blue feathers. Listen down below. No matter how I try, this rock just grows and grows. Can't bring those babies back. Is there no one who will help me save my babies? Just then, Mama Blue Feather had an idea. I know. I will go to see the measuring worm. He's a great medicine man. But he is so old, said the rabbit. And he is so small, said Mountain Lion. I have to try. Mama Blue Feather flew to the measuring worm's home. Please help me save my babies. They are stuck on top of that growing rock. Mama Blue Feather, do not worry, said the measuring worm. I have the wisdom of many winters. I must gather the power of our grandfathers. Wait for me at the growing rock. Soon you will see a great medicine man. He will do it. He will save my babies, said Mama Blue Feather. Then the measuring worm appeared. <gasps> Look at him, everyone said. He is wearing his most powerful medicine. Even Crow came out of his jug to see what was happening. Yes, I wear the feathers of the great eagles and the beads of our many brave ancestors. He shook his rattles. The red paint is for courage. The white for the power of lightning. The black for the power of thunder. I am a great medicine man and I will start my journey. The medicine man climbed for two whole days and two whole nights. And by the morning of the third day, he finally reached the top of that growing rock where the baby blue feathers had become very unhappy. Mama! 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 Hush, little ones. I am a great medicine man and have come to save you. But the baby blue feathers looked at the measuring worm and cried, But you're so old, and you're so small. If you were a real medicine man, you would make this rock grow down. The measuring worm knew what he had to do. He called down to the animals. Animals, who made this rock grow up? up, up, up. To everyone's surprise, Crow popped out of his jug and cried, It was me! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. Crow, what did you say to make this rock grow up? Crow said, Ka! Ka! Make this rock grow up! The measuring worm knew what to do. Thank you, Crow, said the measuring worm, shaking his rattles loudly. Now, with the wisdom of my many winters and the power of our grandfathers, I will make the rock grow down. The measuring worm chanted, Ka! Ka! Up you must not go! Ka! Ka! 
Rock, you must grow low. The growing rock rumbled. Rock, grow down low to the ground low. Rock, grow down low to the ground low. The growing rock began to grow down, just as the measuring worm said. Now repeat after me, the measuring worm called. Caw, caw, rock, you must grow low. The animals chanted, Caw, caw, rock, you must grow low. The growing rock grew lower and lower. The animals chanted louder and louder, and the baby blue feathers grew closer and closer and closer. Mama, mama, cried the baby blue feathers who flipped and flapped and flapped. Then right in front of everyone's eyes, they flew right off the top of that growing rock. A great cheer went out over the whole valley. Measuring worm, I can never thank you enough for what you did, sang Mama Blue Feather. You brought the babies back, cawed Crow. He was so happy. You are indeed a great medicine man, everyone shouted. Thank you, but I must say one more thing to the sunny rock, said the measuring worm, shaking his rattles as the rock settled back to the earth. Rock, remember, never grow. Never high and never low. Never, never, never grow. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, yeah. And even though the measuring worm was a great medicine man, no one has ever cared to sit on that sunny rock again. The end. <laughs>